Okay, thank you. So I will call in order the Hackham's Finance Development Committee meeting. Today is Monday, March 21st, and now it's oh, it's still 502. Um, let's see, uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, Gabriela, can you lead us, please? Sure. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America in the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, within liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Can I get a roll call, please? Sure. Chair Gama. Present. Commissioner Healy. Commissioner Booter. Present. Thank you. Thank Form. you. Uh, thank you. Do we have any comments from the public? No one on the phone, and I don't see anyone on the call. Thank you. Um, okay. Can I get a? Let me see what's next. The approval of the minutes of the Finance Development Committee meeting held February twenty second. Um. I make a motion to approve the minutes from the February 22nd um, meeting. Thank you. And I will second that. Um, can we get a roll call? Uh, Chair Gama. Yes. Chair Commissioner Booter. Yes. And Commissioner Healy. Still absent. Motion thank carries. You. Um, thank you. Um, and now moving on to information, the finance report. Uh, is not available at this time, but we will get it to you just as soon as it's done. Okay. And then um, moving on to uh, the development report. And if, if I could just say a, a couple of words before uh, Carolina takes over. So um, okay. the report should look a little bit different, uh, but not entirely dissimilar. To what you're used to seeing, um, as well as uh, the property management report, uh, we're trying to unify these reports um, so there you don't have as many pieces of paper, um, and that we report more as one collective agency, um, and and not as separate agencies. Um, and one of the things. <coughs> that uh, we're going to bring to the HDC board as a discussion item, <coughs> excuse me, um, is uh, either disbanding the HDC Finance and Development Board or somehow combining uh, with Hackham so that we have one Finance and Development Board that would represent both HDC and the Housing Authority of the County of Monterey. Uh, and with that, I can, I can turn it over to Carolina. Thanks, Tori. Um, so updates on our big jobs, the Tynan Village work. Uh, if anybody's driven around Tynan, we finally got some of the scaffold down on building C, which is great. So we are coming close to the end of all that work. Um, the painters are on building C, hopefully within the next two to three weeks, they'll be done with that entire building. So as work progresses with that, they're tearing down the scaffold and then putting up the awning. So you know, it's starting to look like a nice brand new building again. Um, we've still got work going on, some demo work going on in building A, which is the building where our office is located, but we are still on schedule to be finished by the end of May. Uh, regarding Parkside, we've got confirmation that the modules for building, our next building is online over at Garden, and those are expected to be delivered in May and our community room, the big community center property management offices, that's building A, will also um, be coming in a few weeks before um, building C. So Palisades is, you know, ready to, they've got foundation work all done and just expecting the modules as soon as they, they come in, they'll be ready to get uh, put together. And we're going to start our weekly meetings with property management department so that we can have files ready for lease up. And then Casanova, all of the balcony repairs are almost done. We should be finished within the next two weeks. And then we're gonna start on the concrete and asphalt repairs that are 
Linda requested as part of our refinance of Casanova that took place last year. And I think those are just, those are all the big ticket items that we're working on. So if anybody has any questions about anything else, let me know. I was just going to say I like the I, um, I like the I like the adjustments to the to the report. I think knowing which properties at a glance are managed by which property manager, I think is is helpful as well. So good job. Thank you. And then as Tori mentioned, Jose and I'll be getting together to combine our reports into one. Yeah, so if commissioners have uh, feedback or changes you'd like to see, let us know. Um, I, I think the process is gonna be an evolution over a couple of months. Um, as we continue to refine. I like it. I like the report. I also notice a difference and it's easier, like visually for the eyes. Right. I like the format. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Carolina. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank yeah, you. and I think the, the um, table is the table is helpful too, instead yeah. of having to kind of scroll through page after page just to be able to in one you know, half a page, be able to pick up all that detail and occupancy, I think is, is great too, so. All right, thank you. Um, any other questions for Carolina? Hearing none, moving on to the property management report. Hi, good afternoon, commissioners. Uh, wanted just to point out a couple of things in the report. Um, we currently have some construction happening uh, at 24 Northwood Street. We have a retaining wall that's being uh, completed. Um, I got some pictures today. We're probably at 60% of completion of that project. Um, and it should be done within the next uh, probably two weeks uh, from what I'm being told. So that's great. That was a, a big project that we had to complete. We also um, are pending um, some concrete repairs at 540 Williams. Um, that's a part of the uh, MOR, um, of the MOR that we had uh, for East Salinas Family Rat. Um, we've already sent a response for the um, uh, MOR uh, last week, so that's already been completed. Uh, we received one of the OCAPs approved for um, East Salinas Family Rat. We are waiting for the rest of the OCAPs. Um, we've also submitted all the welfare exemptions and the um, AOCs for the tax credit sites. Um, we are working with the, on the King City Migrant Center. We are uh, completing, uh, starting to uh, get our lease up uh, process um, already in place. We have been getting a lot of applications um, and we are uh, getting ready to open the property in May. So we're doing our due diligence to get that completed. Um, and then uh, we are also, we made a lot of programs, progress in our vacancies. Currently, we only have uh, three vacancies. We've housed mo most of our vacancies that we had. Um, and we are uh, making some changes in the way we uh, process our uh, applications just so that we can be more efficient. Um, in, in housing those units. Uh, also, we have several uh, open positions for caretakers. We had some uh, caretakers um, move out of the area and they have resigned their positions. So we have a total of four open positions currently available. Uh, we're scheduling uh, interviews for those positions so that we can uh, get those positions filled as soon as possible. And those are the highlights of the report, uh, unless anybody has any questions. I don't have any questions, Jose, thank you. Um, Hans, do you have any questions? I don't hear any. Uh, thank you, Jose. Um, moving on to Commissioner comments. Uh, Commissioner uh, Buter, any comments? Yeah, before we uh, before we do that, um, sorry, I was on mute. I just had a couple of quick questions for Tori. Um, 
Tori, could you give us just kind of a, a status update on the finance director recruitment? Yeah, so I've had uh, two finalists um, and I've had an interview with one and I have an interview with the other uh, this week. Um, and then it will be a question of making a choice um, and negotiating uh, and whether or not the offer is accepted. Um, I think that both candidates could do the job. Uh, so I think we're in good shape that uh, of, of the two, someone will accept the offer. Great. And, and fair to say that, um, you know, we're in a little bit of a holding pattern on some of the cash position, uh, you know, finance report stuff kind of until we get some more firepower. Yes. Yeah. We, okay. as you, as you know, um, we're behind on some of the audits and that really has taken the priority uh, of yep. the time. Um, yep. And we're low on staff. And what about um, in terms of HDC, are there any, what's our, what's our plan in terms of um, staffing there? Uh, you know, is it, I guess it might be a little bit dependent on what happens on the finance director side, what type of candidate we get, but um, what are we planning to do in terms of backfilling anything there? So I think that structurally um, it will depend on the, the CFO and what that skill set is um, as to whether or not they can fill the role uh, and then augment it with a development person who can do some of the, the lower level stuff. Um, I don't I don't think it makes sense to have a full-time finance person designated as an HDC person. I think it makes more sense that we would augment our um, Hackam team uh, and make sure that we have people that can do the skills uh, and the, the pieces that needed to be done uh, and hopefully have some cross-training so that more than one person can do it. Um, but we haven't, we haven't really that's just an off a cuff response. We haven't really dug into it yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I don't have any comments aside from, um, I think continuing, uh, we're going in the right direction here in terms of trying to streamline, um, you know, some of the redundancy with the two committee meetings. Um, and I think the, you know, the, the process improvements on the board packets, you know, that kind of stuff is, um, I think, definitely taking us in the right direction. So good job. Okay. And um, I'm going to echo what Commissioner Buter just said. Good job on, you know, merging all the boards, well, at least a committee meeting. And just thank all the staff for all their hard work and dedication to the Housing Authority. And with that, I will adjourn the meeting. It is 516. Great, have a great evening. Thanks everybody, Bye. have a great night. Bye. Thank you. Bye.